everyone. Some of you have asked for a, I hope you can hear me, it's obviously nap time from somebody, but some of you have asked for a sewing room tour, so I'm going to run you through my little tiny sewing space real fast. So my sewing space, if you start like from the door and work your way around the room, this is where I hang things. <laughs> this is where I hang things that are like the machine sewing is done and it's just waiting for whatever hand sewing, smocking, those sort of things, button snaps, that sort of stuff that gets hung here. Now in the back here, these are those hanging racks and I will have links below affiliate links. Um, these are those hanging racks that I put like, you know, larger pieces of fabrics from my fabric stash on like three, four yards and, and above. Those sort of things go here. So. So behind this door, <laughs> uh, door number one, right? So this is my thread organizer. It's a tiny sewing space, guys. So this is my thread organizer. And then if you make your way this way, I have my uh, one shelf. Um, of the ribbon, trim, lace, whatever stuff I was talking about in my how I set up a sewing room video. I'll have that linked. But that's where I've put one and I have more space above here. I can move the camera above here to, you know, put more when I get back to that project. I'm putting more trim on there. Sorry. Oh, right. Good job, pumpkin. Somebody gets potty trained. This is actually a basket of things that when like it kind of like helps me baby proof my sewing room in a hurry so I keep all my scissors in here my pins my bobbins whatever like I need to sew at the machine I keep in this little basket and I just bring it down put it on the machine when I'm done with my sewing well not when I'm done when my sewing time is over <laughs> machine sewing time is over then I put it back up here and she can't get to it so it quickly it kind of baby proofs my sewing room All right, and so this is that organizer I was telling you about that my works in progress um, go into. So when I get my fabric from Farmhouse, I will just slip each one into here along with the pattern, the trim, the lace, whatever I need to complete that garment. And that helps me not to forget to put things on the garment because I for forgot it in the past to put lace or piping or whatever on the garment because it's not with the fabric and I get busy. And then I'm like, before I know it, I have a finished garment without the piping and I'm like, not how it was supposed to go. <laughs> so anyway, that's where that, and then I have this shelf down below. I have this shelf down below that I keep um, a bin of, of more fabric in, it's like some upholstery weight sort of stuff, curtain weights fabric, and then I have my serger way down at the bottom, and it's just been collecting dust for like, I don't know, four years now. Making your way around this little sewing space, we have the L-shaped desk that I mentioned. Yeah, yeah, we have to be quiet because he's sleeping. And then so I have my sewing machine and I have extra space on the other L, the other part of the L, you know, to put things in the cart and, and whatever. So that's that. <laughs> he's sleeping, he doesn't need his toys when he's sleeping, but thank you. Alright, so over here I have this big shelling unit. I tried to link this sucker and I like I looked at the link where you know the email confirmation of my order and the link no longer it's no longer available. At least I can't find it on Amazon. So I linked something that is similar. So yeah, this shelving unit is longer no longer available, but I linked something that is similar and that's just I don't know what it is. So this is where I keep that way up top is a hot mess. Um move y'all yeah that top row that is like baskets and bins filled with ribbon um, that I need to do my organization on then I've got my books magazines sort of thing all right so these are like tools these are things like you can see my hammer I've got buttons I've got this oh, I love this candle and they're no longer making it in this scent it's my favorite ever and so I just I can't part with it. I've got my, my thing of needles, machine needles. I've got hand needles. I've got this lovely thing. 
love this for placing buttons and just getting things spaced nicely. Um, I've got these little organizers that I mentioned in my other video. These things, these acrylic containers. And then you can see fabric in my stash and whatever. Now this is the filing cabinet with all my patterns. Not all my patterns, but a lot of my baby and toddler patterns go in this thing. Which has been wonderful. I love that organization. Um, and then finally... So these were cabinets that came with our house. And uh, they weren't here, but they were stuffed in the tiny little bathroom that we have. So we took them out of the bathroom, but they're in good, you know, good shape, whatever. So I was like, let's just stick them up here. And it provides so much storage. This is where I keep my embroidery floss. You can see that's down here. I've got three of them that are out over there. But anyway, that's my embroidery floss. I've got my, my painting, like my dies for silk ribbon and whatever else like that. Um, so yeah, that's kind of this little tiny sewing space in a nutshell. I hope it was helpful. If y'all have any questions, leave them down below. As always, guys, I appreciate y'all for watching, and I hope to catch y'all next time.